Hi everybody, welcome to our grooming channel. My name is Melanie Newman and this delightful little girl's name is Kiki. She is my toy poodle. And in today's grooming session, I'm going to teach you how to clip a female groin area. So stay tuned. When clipping out your dog's groin area, you can use two different types of clippers. So you can use a clipper where you need to attach your blades to. And I prefer to either use a 10 blade or a 15. I won't go any shorter than a 15 blade because I don't want to irritate my dog's skin. Or you can use a clipper that has a five in one blade. So this clipper has from a nine blade to a 40 blade. So this is a wild creative clipper. Or you could use a Oster 3000i, but remember they do have the blades that you need to attach as well. I have attached Kiki to a grooming loop. So this is attached to my grooming arm. So this just keeps her nice and steady while I'm lifting up her back legs. As we are lifting up our dog's back leg, it's important that we don't lift their leg higher than their back because this will be super uncomfortable for them and we just want to try and keep it in a natural position. I prefer to pop their tail in the palm of my hand and then slide my hand in between their back legs and then wrap my fingers around their knee joint because this will help support their leg as we're lifting it. And then just gently lift that leg. Holding their tail out of the way is so super important because we don't want their tail coming in underneath their groin area and getting in the way. So that's why we pop it in the palm of our hand and keep it out of the way. It's important when we're clipping out our dog's private areas that we only clip a small amount around our vulva area, a little bit down the leg, and then heading towards our rib cage. So we're just keeping that area nice and clean. One mistake I do see a lot of is clipping at the back of the back leg and going a little bit too far out on that back leg and not keeping our clipper work in the inside of the leg. I prefer to go with the lay of the coat. So Kiki's coat lays downwards on the inner side of her back legs. So when I'm clipping this little area just below her vulva, I would go with that direction. I wouldn't come up against and then when we're clipping towards her rib cage, the lay of the hair goes towards that rib cage. So I would clip with. Clipping with the direction of the coat growth will help avoid any clipper irritations. So I'm going to turn my clipper on and I'm coming in just very gently on the side of her little vulva area and trying to keep my blade nice and flat as I'm clipping. And I'm clipping towards her flank area. And this is about as far as I go down. And then I will then clip that in or scissor her leg in. And then her other side, so just coming in just below her vulva and then just gently down. As I'm coming in towards her vulva, I'm just going to gently scoop that area. And I'm not coming in hard, I'm just gently scooping. And then her other side, so I'm just gently scooping that area. So I'm not coming in really too hard with the clippers, I'm just allowing the clipper to actually cut the hair so I'm not too firm. I'm just allowing the clipper to work. And then just cross check, making sure it's nice and clean and tidy. Okay. 
and as you can see we've kept our clipper work inside that back leg so we haven't clipped around the back of the back leg we've kept it nice and neat in the inner sides of her back legs as we start to begin to clip her stomach area I'm go actually going to stand her up on her back legs so I like to just hold her front legs very gently and hold them in one hand and then just let her naturally stand up and we would just pop their tail to the side and just gently pop it to the side if you have a dog that won't allow you to support them by holding their front legs what you'll need to do is when you're clipping that stomach area is get down really low so we still don't want to lift our dog's leg over our dog's back because it's not comfortable so we want to get down really low and then come in and clip this area out and getting right underneath our dog so it's our job when we're grooming them to get right underneath and to make them feel really really super comfortable it's important when we're clipping our stomach and flank area that we clip with the direction of the coat growth because we have little bits of loose skin here on either side of our dog and this is their flank area so it's actually a loose bit of skin what can actually happen is if we come in directly into that flank area this is a danger point on a dog so meaning that there's loose skin and it's easy to cut or nick that area so it's a lot safer to go with the direction of the coat growth and when we're coming towards that flank area that we're just gently coming in and then skimming outwards so our blades nice and flat coming along that stomach and then following the direction of the hair so following that around and then just skimming off that area so turning our clippers on and going with the direction of the coat growth along our belly area and then I'm just gently skimming outwards when I hit that flank area you can actually see where the flank is that loose bit of skin and we don't want to go any further than that so just coming out and then scooping outwards so with the direction of the coat growth and then just scooping out and our other side Keep our blade nice and flat and then just scooping out when we hit that flank area. And I prefer to clip up to around two finger width past that skin on the flank area. So keeping our blade nice and flat and then just coming straight up. And then we can just cross check, just making sure everything's nice, neat and tidy and we haven't missed any little hairs. That she looks nice and neat and tidy. And if our dogs won't let us support their front legs by standing them up, we can just lift that back leg up and then come right underneath them. And then again, just coming out towards that flank area so scooping outwards and our other side scooping outwards going with the direction of the coat growth and then over their little belly area so Kiki's groin is all clipped out so it's all done she's feeling nice and tidy and I'm sure she's horrified that I've showed you guys her privates if you guys have any questions pop them in the comments below and Kiki and I will definitely get back to you and please like and subscribe to our channel and until next time happy grooming